بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سو ٹوڈے ان شاء اللہ وی گوئنگ ٹو اینالائز دا شارٹ اسٹوری دا ریزرو وائے ایز وی ہیو آلریڈی گون تھرو دا ٹیکسٹ آف دس شارٹ اسٹوری اینڈ دا ادر نیٹی گریٹیز آف دس شارٹ اسٹوری ٹوڈے ان شاء اللہ بائی لوکنگ ان ٹو دا تھیم تھیمز اینڈ دا ٹائٹل آف دس شارٹ اسٹوری وی گوئنگ ٹو اینالائز اٹ Uh, in a different way, in a di- with a different angle to it, with a different touch to it. So let us begin uh, uh, without any delays. Uh, the Reservoir, title. Now, what does this title suggest? What is the meaning of this title? Everybody knows that Reservoir is uh, like a huge dam. Okay, it, it serves as a water storage. It stores water for the people of the community, for the people of the city and countries. Okay, based on the size of the reservoir but what comes with it um, as uh, we uh, just as it has just been suggested right now that um, it serves the needs of the people uh, it serves the water needs of the people okay people require water require water for their everyday needs uh, the farmers require water so looking at this with this angle it suggests that it has Uh, a very positive connotation to it okay the title suggests so the, if we go to look into the literal meaning of this title uh, whatever it resonates literally uh, uh, would be something positive but um, it's not only positive if we go to look into it deeply if we go to look at uh, its figurative meaning at its metaphorical uh, meaning we might find some other uh, answers to it as well uh, some other angles to it as well so as suggested earlier uh, that literally it has a positive connotation so it would mean that i am about to portray or suggest or reveal that it has a different or another con- uh, context to it or another contextual meaning to it as well so yes it fundamentally carries two meanings which amazingly are uh, juxtapositional and if you complete the opposite how can a single word give us two ideas which are completely opposite uh, in this scenario it is it is both uh, positive and negative why because uh, we know that this is a water storage it is a place where people get water from but with it it carries an image of a very dangerous place as well a huge place a very dangerous place which has a huge risk of drowning okay you now people if you go to they go to visit that place it's uh, they they are at high risk of drowning themselves so this suggests that the water over here in this reservoir it serves both the purpose so water is both life and death okay na when it is referred to uh, in this context of the reservoir so it is like uh, a monster it is like uh, an imaginary evil spirit uh, which is used to frighten children you must have heard this dialogue in, in many movies soja beta ne to gabbar aa jayega okay so that gabbar is an imaginary evil spirit evil being evil existence which the people were afraid of which the children especially were afraid of okay so this reservoir also acts uh, in this same way for the children at least and for their parents also okay so uh, uh, the reservoir this connection this negative connotation of it of something negative of something the huge colossal uh, but with a negative connotation uh, uh, it serves as something which uh, 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 the children are afraid of and then their parents are also afraid of but this does not remain the same throughout okay parents they stick to this fear of this with this reservoir uh, whereas there comes a time when the children they overcome uh, this fear 
This brings us to the very first theme of MSQ. So we were talking about fear right now. Just now we were talking about fear. Okay, the parents are afraid. They are afraid of the reservoir. But let us let me put this question in front of you. Are they actually afraid of this reservoir for themselves, or are they afraid of this reservoir for their children? Uh, answer is pretty simple. They are afraid of this reservoir for their children. They do not want their children to go near this reservoir. Why? Because they are afraid of it. They are afraid that this might be dangerous and risky for their children. Okay. Therefore, they use this fear. Okay, now they are afraid for their children, and then they use this reservoir as uh, uh, as that negative uh, evil spirit that if the children are going to go close to it, they are going to uh, uh, cause some or they are going to create some sort of uh, type of trouble for themselves. And because of the innocence of the children. They initially, the parents initially are successful uh, in creating the fear of reservoir in the hearts of the children. So the narrator and her friends, even though initially they are afraid of the reservoir, it is very clear that the only reason that they are afraid of this reservoir is because of their innocence. Now they imagine that the reservoir. Is is something which is uh, I mean they create different all sorts of different images or or all sorts of different negative images of this reservoir in their mind, which might never be true. But this idea itself of creating negative images of this reservoir in the innocent minds of the children is very important. Is very important for the author. The author for, for the author, this might be very important. Why? Because the author might be highlighting the fact that those with these innocent minds, uh, with these young minds, they allow for themselves to be scared easily by the unknown. They're not, they're not aware of it. Uh, actually, they haven't ever seen this, uh, but still they are afraid of it. Why? Because they are creating all sorts of negative images of this reservoir in their mind. What does it suggest? It suggests the innocence of these children. Okay, so we suggest it, it. It tells us that innocence has something to do with fear. And okay, they are afraid. The children are afraid because of the fear which has been instilled in their hearts and minds through their parents. So it is because of their innocence that they are fearing this reservoir. But the question comes again. The question rises again. That for how long will this fear stand? So how innocent the children actually are is only or also noticeable by the fact uh, um, that they create these things, these uh, different sorts of. A negative images of the reservoir in their innocent minds. Actually, another uh, uh, idea or another clue of these innocent children, or yeah, of the innocence of the children, is the way these children react, uh, which is pretty clear, uh, apparent, and noticeable in the text. How they react to the people, uh, yeah, but let me say the couples who are dating over there. Uh, together sitting over there how do these children react to that uh, the, you can go through the text for this and uh, the, their impressions their expressions of looking and their actions and then their reactions of looking at at those couples sitting together amongst each other amongst themselves those act reactions are pretty uh, immature which suggests that these children are innocent okay now this takes us to the second theme of the short story which is curiosity and fear now uh, i would say that all these three things innocence curiosity and fear all these three things are interlinked 
How? The innocence and fear are uh, very clear that they are afraid of one thing because of their innocence. Obviously, once they are going to grow old, they are not going to be as afraid of the reservoir as they used to be when they were children. Okay? And when would that time of age come? It will come once their curiosity is going to grow and that curiosity is going to force them to visit the reservoir. And once because of that curiosity they are going to visit that reservoir, all those fearful images, all that fear is going to be kicked out of their brains and hearts very much easily. So it is, uh, it was because of their innocence that they were afraid. But if the curiosity is going to be present and if that curiosity is going to increase, that curiosity in the end ultimately will kick out the fear from their brains and hearts of that reservoir. So it is understandable that the narrator's parents, they don't want the narrator to go to the reservoir. Why do? Because of the danger it carries with it for the children. Therefore, they do not want their children to be left unattended. Okay. Now, but what happens in the end later on? This potential danger, this fear leaves their minds and hearts. Okay. The narrator and her friends, they overcome any sort of fear which they had about the reservoir. Why? Because they become curious. And then their curiosity gets the better of them. Because of their curiosity, they somehow gather the courage to go uh, to that and visit that reservoir. And once they go over there, they are completely different after that. So no one suggests that they should not go to the reservoir. Once they are sitting together as a team, as a group, they do not suggest that they should not, nobody from that team, nobody from that group suggests that they should not go to the reservoir. Okay, na? and even if initially they have some doubts, they are quickly resolved. They are quickly forgotten about. Okay, na? so it suggests that because of their curiosity, going to the reservoir or visiting the reservoir has become one of the biggest challenges for these children. Okay, and then they have to overcome that challenge and they have to face that challenge. Okay, and why are they doing that? Because of their curiosity. So it is a place that they have been told to fear and not to go to something which kind of intrigues the children more. Okay, now, this, this, this action of stopping them from visiting the reservoir, it does not help. It actually helps in creating more curiosity by the, what is there in the reservoir to be afraid of. Let us see at least once. Okay, and this kind of helps children grow closer to their visit uh, to the reservoir. Okay, now this is very important. This idea uh, is uh, the portrayal of this idea is very important for the author. Why? Why is it, why can, would it be important for uh, the author, Janet Frame? Why? Because she could be using uh, the image of her parents in her mind in the story. Then again, it might have been possible, possible that the narrator's uh, parents, they would have instilled a sense of fear into this narrator. Okay, na? Uh, and that fear might not have overcame had it not been for the fact that she was with the group of these other children when she decided to go to the reservoir. Okay. Yani ke, a fear which was instilled in her heart and mind because of the parents and the other members of the group, the children in the group of the children, they helped in fact all of them and each of them help each other in overcoming that fear which was instilled in the minds of those children by their parents. And then they all together decided to go to 
the reservoir so it is as though by being in a group uh, the shared fear that all the children have it kind of disappears any ke every child individually carries a fear but when they all sit together and talk together and move together and decide together those fears they grow bigger when they children become or change from an individual to a stronger group this brings us to the other uh, theme which is the connection can you get us just think about the idea that had it not been this connection between the children would they have ever uh, gone closer to that reservoir no it is was because of their connection among themselves it was because of their uh, their 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 uh, strong uh, connection their strong uh, bond amongst each other because of which they kind of mustered all the courage to go over there together individually any child could not have gone over there so it was because of this connection uh, that they successfully uh, uh, reached or visited the reservoir so the other interesting thing about the reservoir would be that it connects all the children they are like a band of brothers and sisters they are pushing each other to the final decision how destinations how by pushing the fears uh, by pushing each other's fears okay na so uh, uh, another thing which is very much uh, interesting over here is that that in the story um, all the children appear to be in agreement they are moving as a single unity as a single unified body okay and their agreements agreement amongst themselves it uh, creates a force okay uh, which force is way stronger than any individual child so this this force this agreement within this whole group it creates a sense of camaraderie between the children and when there is camaraderie between the children anything is possible for them and what is the highest possible highest uh, yeah what is the most difficult thing or the biggest challenge which they can easily achieve with the help of this camaraderie is going to that reservoir this brings us to the last theme of the short story which is freedom and coming of age uh, let me say that these themes are moving from one to another in a very kya kahenge in a very uh, uh, kahenge uh in a very, very sequencing way okay na it's everything is sequenced they are innocent uh, uh, and because of their innocence they are fearing the damp the reservoir okay and be- because they they are curious they fear is kicked away and why is it kicked away because all of them are connected all of them are working as a group and once because of that connection they visit the reservoir they achieve their freedom and that freedom is symbolized with coming of age yani ki that now they have grown up they are all grown ups they are now they have all grown old okay na uh, and now they have all become mature okay so if anything all the children if anything is there to understand is that all the children come of age after the visit of the reservoir this is very important yani ke if there is one thing to understand over here is that once they visit the reservoir suddenly within an instant all the children have grown old all of the children have grown mature so it was the one thing that was forbidden for them to go to to venture to yet for the children there is the thing to be afraid of now yani ke there was only one challenge for them and as they have overcome that challenge now there is nothing in their life to be afraid of <clears throat> another idea which the author is trying to portray over here is that the children are kind of living in a very uh, happy and peaceful 
atmosphere even though there is a possibility that they do not know it for themselves uh, it is very clear that they are they have the freedom to roam around they have the freedom to roam wherever they want to roam and in, in reality they can do as they wish because uh, they are off from those, the school it's their summer holidays uh, and what the author is trying to suggest here is that this ability to roam free uh, uh, might be the point uh, uh, that she may be suggesting that the children should be free and must not be held back by adults or the other uh, dull factions of life and again the best thing for the children uh, to do is to live their childhood freely live their childhood with full activity okay now live their it it must be a very active childhood okay and they must they must not be the parents must not make any sort or create or, uh, or put any sort of barriers the the uh, kya kehte hain it the lives of children in the childhood must be full of adventures they must be given uh, freedom uh, uh, because with this freedom given that early is it might help them in taking becoming strong to making difficult uh, decisions in their youth i hope uh, i have been successful over here to uh, teach you the that concept over here so she is trying to suggest that the children must leave, live their childhood in the best possible way it must be full of adventures so there is plenty of time for them to grow old when the children would grow up and obviously they would lose their innocence but for this time, for the time being life should be an adventure for the children and this is very much the case in the story this is very much the point which the author is trying to make in this story furthermore the fact that the narrator does not tell her parents that she went to the reservoir is also interesting why because she senses that the fear that the parents have about her going to the reservoir is in reality her parents own fear as it was suggested earlier yani ke what are they afraid of yani ke actually when they are trying to uh, instill a sense of fear in the minds of the children uh, against the reservoir it's in a way their own fear for their children of not of going, uh, going closer to the reservoir so that's why the narrator or any of the children over here in the story are not shown uh, uh telling uh, or informing their parents about their visit to the reservoir why because she is in really trying really trying to suggest that that fear of the parents is actually their own uh these children do not own it the parents own it okay so the parents must not be stopped because of the fear of the parents sorry the children must not be stopped from doing things because of the fear of the parents it is for this reason that the reader suspects that the narrator and her friends after visiting this reservoir have come of age they have now grown or oh, they are grown ups now okay na they are uh, just by uh, uh, risking a visit to the reservoir they have grown mature okay nothing evil now nothing dangerous uh, nothing evil nothing dangerous happened to them and the reader suspects that the narrator and her friends will return to the reservoir at some stage and they will do so in secret because of the parents of because of the fears of their pain or they will keep on doing this acha uh, in the end um, though some critics might suggest that the narrator is being disobedient disobedient uh, and her friends as well the author is in clear disagreement to it because according to her that is exactly how young 
children should be they must venture out in life they must take risks in order to grow as a person and there is no doubt that the narrator has grown as a person after a visit to the reservoir though the benefit of good luck yani ke being off school she has managed to overcome her fears and realize that there is nothing to be afraid of when it comes to visiting the reservoir uh, jazakallah beta i hope the, this lesson is going to help you uh, and if there are any questions beta feel free to text me or call me uh, any time before your paper today today tonight midnight after midnight you can call me uh, okay but this favor is only uh, till your paper once you are done with your exam uh, and there are any questions you can uh, leave a text okay jazakallah